everything the person do irritates you. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. All the ladies, if you feel me, help me sing it out. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Xavier, and I'm back at y'all with another video. Okay, y'all, so today I'm doing a mukbang, and as y'all can see, I already, y'all, I been wanting sushi so bad, your girl already started eating, okay? But, your girl, y'all already know I got my pink Moscato going on, and I got my, let me move this, y'all know I can't get right, and I got my, Sushi. So y'all, I got some, um, this is from Publix. This is the Happy Heart Platter. So I got me the crunchy sushi. I don't know what type of meat is in there. Well, I got me some salmon and I got me some tuna and some shrimp, um, rolls. So when I, I got my sticks and y'all right here, I got my soy sauce for my sushi. In today's video, I'm going to be like, uh, cause I'm getting a lot of questions. Like I told y'all in my last video, like a lot of people DMing me, asking me stuff and saying they can relate to me and all that. So this video gonna basically be me sitting here and talking about when you know it's time to leave, basically. When do you know it's time for you to leave? Is this is in your relationship, is it worth fighting for? It? Friendship, not even just relationship, this could apply to all around family ships, friendship, relationship. Now before we clock this tea, I already got my few things um, wrote down that I'm gonna talk about, but before we clock that tea, let me get into this. Wine tea, cause first of all, let me tell y'all, <laughs> I keep seeing people under my post on YouTube, uh, Facebook and stuff like that saying, "Oh, it seems like you're drinking more. It seems like you're becoming an alcoholic." The internet is not real. You cannot. I'm here for my true supporters who knows me. My real supporters, like the internet, cannot be real. Like y'all cannot be real with yourself. People literally saying, ever since, ever since, you know, whatever happened, she become the alcoholic. She, that bottle of pink Moscato is the first bottle I get when I moved into this place. And I know I don't have to address them, but I just want them to feel so stupid. I'm still on the same bottle I bought since I moved in this place. Y'all act like I ran through five or six bottles of wine. I'm not drinking hard liquor, baby. Wine. Y'all killed me. Oh, she turned to alcoholic. She's turning. Y'all just want something to say. It's wine. It's my first bottle. It's okay. I know y'all looking for something. I know, I know. Hacko, y'all looking to say something. I know y'all looking for something negative. I know y'all looking for something. But, baby, that's not it, okay? If, if you gonna be anything, be for real. This is that's my first bottle of wine, and I'm gonna drink me. So I'm gonna have me a glass of wine, okay? Period. Now, now that now I clocked that team, let's get into teens, okay? So y'all, like I said, I've been craving sushi. Like, comment down below. Do y'all like sushi? I love sushi. Mmm. I really don't too much use my soy sauce. Sometimes I just dip, 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 but not all the time. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. Mmm. Mmm. On top of the alcoholic wine. <laughs> yeah, ma'am. Okay. So, like I told y'all, I'm going to be talking about when you know it's time to let go. My experience and what I'm going to talk about might not work for everybody in everybody's situation, but I'm going to try my best to make it for your situation. Because, you know, my situation is different from a lot of y'all's situations. But we're going to see how it go, you know? So, like I told y'all, I wrote down some few things. Number one, I have, when all you think about is leaving. This was my number one. I put this as number one for a reason. This is my number, 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 number one. Number one. Not the two, but the one. When all you think about is leaving, and I'm talking about it, that's all in your head. 
It was any all day, every day, all night. Like you dreaming just about leaving. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. When all you do, I'm talking about you. You can't even focus. You can't even go out, go out, go by your day. You can't even take care of your kids because all you thinking about is leaving. Ways to get out, planning your exit plan. You know what I'm saying? That's my number one for when you know it's time to go. Like it just wanna no matter what you do, it won't escape your mind. It it just won't leave your mind. That's all you can think about, and that's like like that's all you think about all day, every day. Is leaving. If you doing that, it's time for you to pack up and leave right now. Pause this video. <laughs> Pack your stuff. Leave. Then come back and finish the video. If all you think about is leaving, you need to leave. And I'm telling nobody to say. It has to bounce. Bounce, 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 bounce. And, and in my situation, I knew it's time for me to go. When all I thought about was leaving y'all. Like, I, that's all I thought about. Like, how can I go? When can I go? Where I'm going to go? You feel what I'm saying? When all you think about is leaving, I'm going to keep standing on that. Because that's number one. That it's time for you to go. Wh when I'm leaving. How I'm going to leave. Where, wh where I'm going to go. You know, what time I'm leaving. Am I going to sneak out? If I'm a <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm being dramatic, but I'm dead serious. That's my number one. When you know it's time to go, for sure. Okay. Number two. This may not be a lot of people's number twos, but this is definitely my number two. This could have been number one. It's number one worthy. But it's definitely number two. And everything the person do irritates you. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. Call me that way. I'm talking not even relationship. Friendship, family, this can relate now. This right here can relate to everything. Friendships, family ships, all relationships, all that. When everything that person do irritates you. When like that person everything that do irritates you. They touch you, you irritated. Y'all talking in your head. You talking to that person but you, you in your head like why are you talking to me? You know, uh, when, you, when that person do something, you like, corny. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, everything that person do irritates you, baby. When I say that's number two, that's number two. Heavy on number two. I'm talking about to the point that person could be doing something. You just looking at them like, like. You feel <laughs> and I can feel this because I've been through this. You feel what I'm saying? Xavier, everybody on here be trying to give advice and be y'all pretty and be y'all, you know, I'm gonna give it to your raw like your mama should have. You feel me? Especially if I got real supporters and, and real human beings. And yes, I'm gonna say real human beings because some of y'all be acting like aliens. But real human beings on here. When everything that person do irritates you. And like I said, it goes for friendship too because I've been through that too. I had a friend and I wasn't feeling a friendship no more because off subject, it was like I was putting in more than a friend. So I'm still trying to work it out. You feel what I'm saying? And being around that person, it was just like, like you're irritating me. Like I don't want to be around. Like you're irritating me. And I had to, I literally had to cut that friend off because why am I around somebody? And I don't want you to think I'm look cause who I don't want you to think I'm looking upside your head, I'm behind your back, making a face and nothing like that. I got uh uh. I'm just I'm gonna cut you off. You feel me? And that goes for a relationship too. And my relationship is starting to get like like oh like stop stop looking at me, stop touching me, stop. You know what I'm saying? It's time to let go. It's time to go. Pause the video, <laughs> pack your bag, and go. And then when you get to where you at, replay it. Okay? Because it's time to go. It, everything that person do irritates you. It's time to go. And let me say this too: certain people, certain people's situations are different. I'm not saying you can't fix it. Don't get this video wrong. I'm saying when you, um, this video is about 
when you know it's time to go. Now, let me go back to number one. I feel like number one, all you think about is leaving. It ain't no fixing that. It ain't no fixing that. You can disagree. We can't we can disagree. Let's talk in the comments. I feel like when you at the point, especially women, especially women, when you at a point in your head, all you think about is leaving, planning your um exit. I don't think it's no, ain't no coming back from that. Ain't no coming back from that. Ain't no fixing that. Two, everything that person do irritates you. I feel like that could be fixed. You know, it depends which stage it is. Like stage one, two, three, four, you know, being the least to the greatest. It depends what stage y'all on. Like if you on the low one, two, certain things you they do, you be like, uh, like you know, but now you in the three, fours, and when they touch you, even talk to you and look at you, and you irritated, you like, uh, ain't no fix to that, <laughs> ain't no fix to that, you know. So some stuff is fixable, and some stuff not. It depends how deep you into it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, this sushi so good, and your girl getting better with the chopsticks, y'all. When I first moved to Georgia, I didn't know what I was doing. And then I got me some friends with some, I ain't even, nobody said in the comments, Xavier, you always go off topic. So, <laughs> but no, off topic. When I first moved to Georgia, I didn't eat sushi. I didn't know how to use chopsticks. I didn't know how to do none of that. But I came to Georgia, made me some friends with some money and got a couple boss friends who introduced me to sushi. So that's my little story on my uh, sushi. <laughs> but back to it. Okay, 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 okay. Lady, you always on top. Mm. Number three. You can't remember the last time you was truly happy. I can relate to this too. Like, you know, you in your room. You sitting, you thinking about, is this worth it? Worth it, right? When was I truly happy? And I feel like in the relationship, that should never be a thought. And if it is a thought, it's supposed to come up, it's supposed to pop right up in your head when you was happy. I'm talking, when you get to a point where you was like, damn, when was I happy? Like, you can't even think of the last time you was happy, you was made happy, like you was truly happy. Like, you, you, you just thinking about, like, when was I happy, you know? And, in your, and like I said, in a relationship, if you do think about that, it shouldn't take you all day and night to think about when you was truly happy. Like when you can't even think about when you was true, truly happy, it's time to go. <laughs> it's time to go. Okay. It's time to go. And I ain't no here and I ain't no here speaking like them podcasts be and people who who on a podcast single don't even know what they say. I ain't even been experienced, ain't been through nothing. Xavier, she been through it. And I'm telling you the truth. When you can't think about when you was truly happy, it's time for you to go boo boo. Okay, you guys to go. Bye. Pack your what I say. Well, what did we learn? Pack your bags. <laughs> you know. Period. Okay, now y'all, I'm embarrassing myself with the chopsticks. Now, after I just told y'all, I'm good with the chopsticks. Like, come on now, embarrassing. Just on here lying. <laughs> no, it ain't even my chopsticks. It's my sushi breaking apart. Hmm. There we go. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. I love me some pink masala. That's my fave. Okay. Hey, number four. When you feeling unheard, like, I've experienced this. I can relate to this too. And I feel like this is something that could be fixed, you know? For example, I'm feeling lonely. I want to do this. We need to connect more. We need to communicate more. We need to. And they ignoring that. And they're not hearing you. You know what I'm saying? Or you like, let's do this. Let's do that. Let's do this. Let's go to therapy. Let's, whatever you say. Whatever you say. Like, I ain't always saying I said that because I didn't. But, like, whatever you say, but you're feeling unheard. You know what I'm saying? Like, that person is not hearing you. You put in more work than a person. You know what I'm saying? And also, you're not being heard. If you, if, if you get me. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot that plays into number four. Like, it's a lot that plays into number four. But 
if you feeling uh, if you feeling unheard, unwanted, like you you the you the only one putting in the work, it's definitely time to go. It's time to go. It's definitely time to go. And y'all, these personal experiences. It's time to go. Like I'm telling you what we need to fix and woo woo. Woo woo. And your spouse ain't trying to hear or your friend or whoever. Even your mother, your dad. You know, you're trying to build a relationship with your mom and your dad. They ain't trying to hear it. Stop trying. I'm, 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 I'm done trying. You know, I tried. What do you want me to do? You're not hearing me. I'm the only one putting me in the work. What do you want me to do? You feel what I'm saying? I'm the only one trying. You're not hearing me. Like, what do you like? What do you want me to do? Like, I'm done. It's time to leave or it's time to let it go. Stop trying. You know what I'm saying? And then why I also say this could be fixed? Because once you stop trying and once you stop caring, that's when that person wanna turn around and care. Did I lie? Did I lie? Did I fucking lie? I know y'all know that. I know y'all know that. That's when a person turn around and want to care once it I, I i hate that the world like this and i hate that people like this you could be trying all the time but once you stop either you the bad person that person try to turn victim or if you dealing with a good person that person gonna try to fix it so it's two different people it depends on who you depend it depends on who you dealing with oh you don't care huh you don't care no more you don't another person if you dealing with a good person they gonna think like Oh, oh, she stopped trying. She stopped caring. Before this mug leave, let me get my together. Cause, cause that person, now 10 out of 10, that these people ain't stupid. They just like playing in our face. Especially good hearted people. These people ain't stupid. They just like playing in our face. They just like up, they just like to see us doing the most and trying hard. If you did it with a good person, that person gonna say, Oh, she, she, she falling back. <clears throat> he or she falling back. He or she stopped trying. He or she might be fun to leave. He or she probably tired of my sh let me Let me get my together before this mug leave and try to fix this. If you're dealing with a good person. And like I said, if you're dealing with a bad person, they're going to blame you. That's this when the blaming guy has come in. They're going to blame you. Oh, you don't care no more. Oh, you ain't trying. You ain't trying. You ain't, even though you've been trying this whole time. You ain't trying. You ain't been trying. You ain't uh, uh, clowning. Did I lie? Did I lie? Did I fucking lie? So like I said, depending on who you're dealing with, number four could be fixed. Number four could be fixed. Okay. Number five. Nothing in a relationship brings you joy. It's time to leave when nothing in the relationship bring you joy. Now, I'm going to throw my situation in here. So, when we was already like on the edge and stuff, when I already was like, you know, feeling lonely and telling him like, let's go on dates, 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 whatever. He didn't want to do it until I was like, oh, I found me a place. I'm, I'm moving. You know what I'm saying? So then, out of the blue, he came up to me. He was like, I booked this place. Woo, woo, woo. I'm taking you on a date. And I was like, what? Like, I'm thinking we over. Like, we haven't been communicating. We haven't been. But once I said that I was move, I found me a place and I'm moving, he ended up taking me on a date. So, and it's cool, whatever. But I wasn't happy. You know what I'm saying? And that goes back to saying nothing brings joy in a relationship. That didn't still bring me joy. You know what I'm saying? And that was just an example. No matter what that person doing, like your spouse is giving you flowers every day of the week. And that still ain't making you and that still ain't making you happy in their relationship. It's time for you to go. What did we learn? Pack your bags. <laughs> and go. Now, that can go both ways. That 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 number five can both go both ways. Because a person could be bagging you flowers and take you on a date and you doing this, you doing that. And it's like nothing you doing is making this person happy. Like, what's the problem? 
that's a different that's a different situation. I'm talking about when it's time for you to leave. Cause I know um, my 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 fools in the comments gonna be like, oh well, what if you doing everything in the press? You just can't make you just can't make everybody happy. We are not speaking on that. Cause I know how y'all like to get y'all like to fast. Remember y'all like to fast something in comment. We ain't speaking on that. That's different. That's the whole. I'm talking about when it's time to leave. Which this relates to that too, but we are not talking about that. If if, if in your relationship ain't nothing bringing you joy, like no matter what that, like you you you're at the point where. Baby, all that, it's too late for all that. And I'm just put it like that. In, in, in your relationship, you in your man, in your heart, you at the point like, no matter what you do, it's too late for all that. All of a sudden, you want to take me to a trip to the Bahamas. Or now, all of a sudden, your mama want to finally get your kids. Or your friend finally want to invite you out after she invited all. It's too late. You, you've been going out all week with your other friends. Didn't invite me once or so nothing. Didn't call me. Didn't check in. Ooh, now... That you having a birthday dinner, you want it's too late. It's too late. They go for family ships, friendships, relationships. Like it's too late. Like ain't no ain't no joy in this friendship no more. Ain't no joy in this relationship no more. Ain't no joy in this family ship. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Y'all, and another thing about sushi, sushi give me full so fast. I'm not even gonna lie. I couldn't even eat my little shrimp sushi. Sushi give me full so fast, y'all. So I'm gonna take another bite. It's too late. Okay. Number six. You know it's time to leave when everything turns into an argument. Heavy on that. When everything turns into an argument, like Hey, babe, could you wash the dishes? You wash the dishes. You ain't never wash this. You don't never wash this. I've been washing this. Hey, babe, you took out the trash. You took out the trash. I don't know. Yeah, like, everything turns into an argument. Like, what you want to eat today? I don't know. You don't never know what you want to eat. Like, instead of communicating, it turns into an argument when everything, literally, and I mean everything, when everything turns into an argument, pack it up. Pack it up, boo boo. Time for you to go. <laughs> it's time for you to go, okay? Everything turns into an argument. I'm talking. Like I just said, what you want to eat? You don't never know what you want to eat instead of, well, here go a few options. You know? Bad, because you do dishes. You don't never do dishes. I ain't do dishes. Instead of, you want to do this together? To bring this relationship closer, you know, everything turns to an argument instead of a, a conversation, communication, ventilation, installation, setting. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about, man. Yeah, both of these points I can agree with on every level relationship level, friendship level, and family ship level. Like, that's when you know it's time to go and let people go. And, and, and that's okay. I know people, and then another thing I want to say is everything, I know people say, y'all y'all can fix this, y'all can, and I'm talking about with every, you know, y'all can fix this, y'all can work this. Everything is not worth fixing and fighting for. And stop thinking like, stop, stop, stop thinking that. Like, stop thinking, some people be like, even, even, I, I'm going in circles, but, Stop thinking everything can be fixed. Stop thinking every situation can be fixed. Cause y'all, y'all, y'all cut off y'all friends before y'all boyfriends. I don't know how that worked. <laughs> like, how that work? How does that work? You know what I'm saying? So if I, if it, it, it's crazy, you can come tell a person, oh, why this B word? She to be my friend. She woo woo woo. But then, but then you like, ho ho ho, ho. But then I'm like. Yeah, he not cheating on me. He beat me in. Then they be quick to say, he's a good man, Savannah. It don't work like that. Sorry. It don't work like that. You got to treat most situations the same. If you will cut off your friend, and you want to give your friend no chance, cut that man off too. You feel what I'm saying? If you can cut off your mama or your daddy or your sister uh, for a small incident or a small disagreement, cut that, cut that cheap, cut that cheap ass man off too. 
Cut that man off that's beating your ass, too. You get what I'm saying? And that goes back to say, everything is not a fixed situation. Like, some, some people, you have to let go. Spouse, friends, parents, cousins, brothers, sisters. Some people, it ain't no, it ain't work. A lot of stuff ain't work fixing. Let them go. You, you know, your heart and your brain will tell you. That's another thing. That should have been my number seven. Your heart, your heart and your brain will lead you. You just got to learn how to listen to yourself. Some people don't know how to listen to themselves. And that was me at first. That was me. I was all over the place, especially in my younger days. I was all over the place with friends, families, and everybody. I was all over the place. But, y'all, today, you fuck around and get left. I'm t don't even play with Xavier. I listen to myself now. Like, yourself will, people just don't get your brain, your heart. Yourself will tell you what you're supposed to do. Yourself will tell you, is this worth fighting for? Yourself will give you your answer. Yourself will tell you, should I leave? Yo, start listening to yourself. Sit with yourself. Talk to yourself. Six was my last number. But my advice for tonight is, when you move on, when you move on, let go all contact, please. Let go all contact. And I'm, and I'm saying that to say, some people will try to hold on to you. Even when you do move on, some people going to try to keep you in the mad space or the space you in by just keeping contact with them. You know what I'm saying? So, when you do and if you decide to leave, cut off all contact. Except, like my situation. I would say, if I didn't have kids by my spouse, I would cut off all contact. I surely would. Like, I would cut off all contact. Depends on your situations. Some people are friends with their ex, which is cool, which is cool. It depends on your situation. My situation and my backstory, I would cut off all contact if we didn't have kids. You know what I'm saying? But we have kids. So if you have kids in your situation, keep it strictly co-parenting. Keep it strictly about the kids. And keep it strictly co-parenting. Period. If you don't have kids, cut off all contact. If your situation was bad or, you know, like, for example, your, your ex-husband or your old spouse used to beat the out of you. When you leave that man or when you leave that girl, cut off all contacts. Why you want to keep in contact with somebody who beat the out of you? Like, y'all be out there tripping. Cut off all contacts. Like, why, like, why did you keep in contact or why did you ask on the phone and talk about who, who, who whooped your ass? And I'm talking about situations like that. Now, if you was, if you left on good terms or if you left, or both y'all decide, okay, this ain't working, let's split, y'all split it good, y'all split it healthy, it's, it's okay to remain friends. You know, I ain't, Xavier ain't hit a um, sugar coat. It's okay to remain friends. Y'all y'all kick it, y'all do what y'all do. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying, if you in a situation where, like I said, he, whooped your, he or she whooped your ass, or he or she did you so dirty, or he or she, cut off all contact, like, what, like why? Like why did you call him the, the uh beater upper? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I finished my glass of wine just in time, y'all. This is crazy. But y'all call me an alcoholic. This was one glass. Y'all call me an alcoholic, please, please. I finished my glass right on time. The end of my video, okay? But yeah. Let go all contact. That's my advice for the end of this video. Let go all contact. If you decide to move on over or not, and I'm only speaking on the bad relationships, let go of all contact. Like, why do you want to be in contact with somebody who just did you so? Let some people go. Friendships too. Why do you want to be in contact with a girl who talk about you with her other friends all the time? Why are you still talking to her? You know what I'm saying? Why do you still want to talk to your mama, daddy, cousin, and they only call you for money, but they don't watch your kids. They don't see their great kids. They don't, woo, woo, woo. Not, not personal, but just some examples. Like, why you, why you, why you think you want to talk to these people? Why you hurting yourself? You know what I'm saying? Why is we out here hurting ourselves? 
let go of all i love y'all my name is zevia thank y'all for watching this video i hope somebody could learn from this um like this video subscribe to my channel turn on that post notification so when you know zevia is on your screen and i'm out i love y'all